This video is for Fanny Kayode. Fanny Kayode, leave the Igbo people alone. Stop dragging us. We are wiser than you think. Yes. Uh, it's like nobody listens to you again. Uh, and uh, maybe you will use the Igbo to come in again so that they will listen to you. You know, when people attack the Igbo, just like uh, Asari did and did, you know, he did and he thought he would buy influence from Tinubu. And he was mentioning Ndibu for nothing. He mentioned Pitobi, he mentioned Ndibu. Thinking he will please Tinubu. Where is he today? Now he's condemning Tinubu's government. Fanika Yode, despite all your support, you know, your mouth doesn't stay one place. When um, Abakiare, the, the one that works with Buhari, the old, I'm not talking about the policeman, no. the old man that works with him, that was a chief of staff before he now died, the old man. When he was there, nobody knows that you had a relationship with him. You were in a dilly dally with Ab Abakiari. When Abakiari died, suddenly you exploded. You could not hide it again. Please leave Ibo matters. Stop dragging and Ibo. I am talking in respect of what you said about the Israel Palestinian war. That Igbos are happy. How many Igbo men invited you to tell you they are in support of Israel or anybody? The support or reactions towards that war, it's personal thing. Igbos that I've listened to, many of them want that war to end. So I don't know why you say Igbos are supporting. You know, Tinubu did not respond to you. You were expecting appointment and you was, you know, during the election, you were hailing Tinibu this and that. You know, you you said a lot of things, your mouth, your mouth, or okay, your mouth, your mouth. You said a lot of things to please Tinibu, but Tinibu knew who you are. Tinibu was aware of a lot of things you said about him during Buhari's reign, even before Buhari came in. They know you. You cannot keep your mouth shut. So they ignored you. You were expecting a ministerial role. At the end of the day, nobody listened to you. Now, you want to use Ndibo to shine. You cannot use us to shine. No. Remember, Ndibo is not one person. No. Ndibo is an ethnicity. Fanika, they go and sit down. Your sweet mouth, oh, your wayo wayo, we all know it. You want to drag Ndibo? Enough is enough. I don't, I don't know why Ohaneze and the you know designated bodies Igbo bodies have not re responded to you perhaps they they, they, they realize this one self it don't make sense maybe that is why none of them is responding to you meanwhile we will drag you we will respond to you and that is what we are doing now please my viewers stick around I will show you Screenshot of where this same Fanny Kayode was supporting Israel against Palestinian. You know, he's trying to pull Igbo so that, you know, at the, at this ongoing protest, Igbo choose not to be involved. Because we don't know the target. And we have not heard that anybody has been killed. Police was sharing food in Lagos. I think even Pure Water and the rest of them. Maybe if Igbo people have been involved, who knows what will happen. It has been calm, you know, peaceful. They want Igbos to get involved, and Igbos say they, they will not get involved. Perhaps because of they are not involved, it was peaceful. And SAS, they almost nailed it on Ndibo. It was as if, you know, it came to a point, it was Igbos that, was, that were fueling NSAS. Meanwhile, it was a Nigerian protest against police brutality. Now today, Igbo did not go um, come out for the protest. Igbo's want to be safe. And now yeah, he's trying to... This man should be sued. Mm. This the, the kind of statement he made regards this Palestinian-Israeli crisis. He should be cautioned. He should be cautioned. 
because it's like anybody is trying to ride on Ndi. Well, let me look at other reactions to what he has said. Instead of you to drag Ndi, Ndi will drag you. Let me look at other reactions. This particular reaction is from our brother, Bishop Edwin. Let's read what he wrote. Because we must respond to you. Not that you make sense, but so that the lies against Ndibo will be, you know, things will be made straight so that you stop lying. Now, Bishop Edwin wrote, Is Femi Fanikarade a failed politician seeking relevance with Ndibo? Is he trying to make a comeback with Ndibo? I just finished reading Femi Fanikarade's accusation of Ndibo. You know that what gives the orgasm is the mention of Ndibo. Yes, it gives them orgasm. When they mention Ibo and Biafra, once you come to antagonize Ibo and Biafra, you know, <laughs> you know, it, 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 they take delight in doing that. For a very long time, according to where I'm reading what Bishop Edwin wrote, for a very long time, people have been ignoring Coyote, even with his huge 1.3 million followers on X, that's formerly Twitter. Today, he wants to trend using Ndibo. Can you imagine? Everybody wants to shine with Ndibo. Fanny Kaede has accused the Igbo people of supporting Israel against Gaza. Ndibo did not take a side in the Israel-Gaza war. Ndibo did not take side in that war. No Igbo group leader has commented on this war. IPOB, on the other hand, has not supported anyone. Rather, they asked them to end the bloodshed, which I, this is what I said earlier. So where is Femi Fani Kayode getting his accusation from? Every woman can certainly reserve the right to have an opinion on that matter, on the ongoing Gaza-Israeli you know, conflict, war, just as a Yoruba man has the same right. Many individual Yorubas are standing with Israel on this war. But Femi Fani Kayode ignored them and made Igbo people his point of banter. It should be noted that Femi Fanikayode has on many occasions supported the Israeli war against Gaza. During this time, the late Abakiari sent him to infiltrate PDP. He facilitated his deception of PDP members with hate posts on Muslims, Fulani, Islam, and support for Israel. FFK was so brutal in his attack on APC, that PDP under good luck, Jonathan, made him their campaign uh, manager, maybe a spokesman too. He even vowed over his dead body, will he ever go back to APC? Brothers and sisters, today he is back to APC from whence he came. Remember, he joined APC. He fooled Ohaneze with a handshake across the Niger. You remember the handshake across the Niger? Um, I think... Tony Nadi was involved in this handshake across the Niger. They came together, they met with Ibo, and it was like, oh, handshake across the Niger. And Ibos were like, oh, this is a this this Yoruba man is great. Oh, he loves Ndi Ibo. After all, he married an Ibo woman. Wish he later divorced. I don't know. They are not together. Maybe they divorced or I don't know what they did, but they are not together. Whether they have reconciled, we don't know. We thought he was a friend to Ndibo. Well, <laughs> we Ibos know who Fanikao Day is. This video is not to discredit anybody, but he wanted to paint Ibos in a bad light. And this is why we are coming out. Now, let's read on on what um, this guy wrote about Fanica. They said, what FFK is good at is being used for dirty jobs. They use him as an attack dog and he plays it nicely. But it seems he's no longer getting the attention of the people. It is almost a year since President Tinubu took over office but gave nothing to FFK even after he was used to lead a dirty campaign against Ndibo. We have not forgotten how he spoke down on the Labour Party governorship candidate in Lagos just because his mother is Igbo. 
Same Fanica, they have sons whose mother are also Igbo. Can you imagine? He will criticize the guy who uh, aspired to be governor of Lagos through Labour Party because his mother was is Igbo. But he has his sons with him intact. Even though I don't know whether their mothers are their mother is around. Bishop Edwin went on. I see FFK as a failed politician. He can't win an election. He serves as an attack dog for politicians and political parties. He's only God for appointment. But unfortunately, after the appointment, he got under President Obasanjo. He has gotten none till today. He was even ignored by Tinubu. They just don't trust him. Can you imagine? This is a man Obasanjo said, if you give him food, he will sing your praises. <laughs> No one the journalist once asked him who was bankrolling him. And I think he almost beat up the journalist or he slapped the journalist. Today, such a personality has a front and front tree to accuse more than 70 million Igbo people. Can someone please inform FFK that he can't use Ndibo to revive his failed political ambition? We as Ndibu have our problems facing us. We have been killed more than Palestinians. Nigerians come Britain starved our people to death to the tune of 3.5 million people. Recently, lots of Igbo youths have been killed in Imo State and houses burnt by soldiers. Why should we as Igbo people leave these atrocities in our land to talk about the one between Israel and Palestine? FFK can support Palestinians against Israel without bringing Imdibo into it. That was from our brother Bishop Edwin. He doesn't have to call on Dibo. Can't he keep his mouth shut without mentioning Dibo? Can't he say everything he wants to say without mentioning Ndibo? Because he wants to be relevant. He wants to get the support. Now, in rounding up, just like I promised, this is Femi Fani Day on 14th May 2021, asking Israel to march into Gaza, retake it, annex it, and occupy it in perpetuity. What changed? How did FFK turn from an Israeli supporter to a Palestinian Hamas supporter? How can such a man start accusing Ndibo? Truly, the internet never forgets. In rounding up, Fani Day. FFK, stop using Indibo to shine. I've got to go and find work. If you have been destroyed politically, look for a way to revive your political career. Leave Indibo alone. Indibo is not one person. Focus on your dead political career. And this is why we draw the curtain on this one. Please share this video while your tail gets to him. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more updates. Bye-bye for now.